Hi everyone, this is Lee from Peach and Plum Lab, a place for creative kids to learn and grow. Today is the first day of 2020. Happy New Year, everyone! So today I'm going to show you guys how to draw 3D letters with 2020 as a celebration of our new year. So today I'm mainly going to use these two colors, pink and blue highlighter. To begin with, let's use our pink highlighter. To start with, let's use the pink highlighter just to draw the number 2. Curve and then draw a straight line. And now I'm going to refine it to make the curve a little better. And refine on the starting point as well. So to make it a little more balanced, let's extend this horizontal stroke a little outside. So this is going to be our first letter or first number. For zero, we are going to use a blue highlighter. Let's leave some gap in between the number two and number zero. Let's start right around this area. Because of the tip of the highlighter, it's not going to be perfect in the very beginning. So let's add a little more stroke later to refine it. Just to refine the vertical stroke so that it looks even width between the vertical and horizontal strokes and make sure everything is smooth around the corner and turning point so 2020 the third letter is number two and i'm going to start right around here so doing the same thing like what we just did on the number two first curve and then extend a horizontal stroke make sure that they align on the same line and then now let's refine everything a little better let's make the starting point and the curve a little better also just extend the horizontal stroke a little longer so it looks more balanced and of course the last number is zero again and we're going to start right around the here again the vertical stroke is a little thinner so we are going to add more later so the first round is always going to be thin lines and now let's define some more details and make it more refined looks like the second zero is a little fatter than this first zero so let's actually add a little more weight for the first zero the fact this is hand drawn letter so it's okay if it's not perfect especially when the tip of the highlighter is not as preferred and next time maybe we can use a much better tip to draw these letters so maybe we can try another type of material in the new year so this is the basic shape for my 2020. It looks like everything is in its right place uh, at this moment. So the next step is to use the black pen to outline some details and add the 3D drop shadow and everything on the letters. So first, let's outline the shape for the numbers. So first, let's follow the exact shape of the color. Well, we can actually leave a little more white highlight on the top for the number two so the same thing for zero let's add an outline like this let's finish it and of course the same for this number two as well let's finish the outline for the letter i keep saying letter even though it's a number so forgive me for that i'm going to leave a little white on the top Oops, I messed up a little bit, but it's okay. Let's keep continue. This happens sometimes if you don't use a pencil. So let's continue. And let's finish this number two. Last, let's finally outline this zero. So let's just add one and two layer outside. All right. 
Okay, that's it. So we have finished the outline. Now let's start from the shadow, where it will look like a 3D shadow. So basically, you can just follow me um, along the way, and we can finish this together. First, let's draw a diagonal line, and then curve exactly like the shape. And right on the bottom, it's the same. Draw a diagonal line. So the same thing for the other two corners. Just draw two diagonal lines like this. Make them all parallel to each other. And then let's connect all these lines. Make sure the vertical stroke is perfectly ver vertical and the horizontal is horizontal, parallel with the other lines that we have defined earlier. So let's finish the number two. We have to add another curve right around the spine area. So the same for zero. We have to draw the shadow on the right side. So let's start from the inside. Curve down just like what we did earlier. And then draw the one that's outside. Connect the bottom as well. So the same thing for this two. A straight line, curve, and disappear right around here. And the same thing for this side. Start right around the turning point and just stop right above this horizontal stroke. So the same thing for this horizontal stroke. Let's draw three diagonal lines that's parallel and now connect vertically and then horizontally. All right and now let's do the same thing for zero. Again start at the turning point and then curve down and then disappear at the bottom and then do the same thing on the outside layer. All right, here we go. We actually finished the letter with a 3D drop shadow for 2020. So now what we can do is to add some highlight. And again, let me explain. The light can come from the left since the shadow drops on the right. But since we wanted to display the texture and the turning point and the curve for all the letters, so it's better to add the highlight actually around the round corner so that can tell most about the highlight so that's why we added this highlight over there and next step let's add a little more details so imagine this could be like a happy new year greeting card that you can send out so in order to do that we are going to add a little ribbon on the bottom for the 2020 and then we'll say happy new year on the ribbon First, let's write the letters Happy New Year on the bottom. We are going to draw very simple capital letters Happy New Year because this is the center part for the ribbon. So now we can add a box around it. First, draw the bottom and left. And now let's cover the top. Looks like the line that I draw is not perfectly aligned with the letter, but everything is okay. We can still fix it. Later, we can add a little more thickness to the Happy New Year, so it makes the uh, misalignment a little less noticeable. So next, now let's add a horizontal line around here. Now let's finish the left side for the ribbon. Let's curve a sharp corner on the left, and then add a horizontal line like this. So the same thing for the right side, we're going to add something like this. And then to finish the ribbon, we have to connect the two corners like this and like this. So it makes it look like, like they are folded. So now what I'm going to do is to add a little thickness on the letters to give it a focal point for the letters and also just to de-emphasize the misalignment that we did earlier for the line and the letters. So now let's decorate the ribbon a little bit 
this pink highlighter has been left out without the cap on so it has dried out a little bit okay let's try a little harder uh, seems okay and uh, yeah on this side let's do the same okay we tried enough now let's maybe try another one a new one all right this is a new highlighter this seems much better all right let's add another line to finish this ribbon here I'm going to use these lines to show that's the shadow or it's a bottom layer for the ribbon so the last thing maybe we can use the yellow highlighter just to add some stars around the 2020 showing some bling bling or shining effects to demonstrate the celebrations around New Year just to give it a little more touch and then besides the stars I'm going to add some lines around it to show the shiny effect as well all right let's add a little bit more stars around here there and also add some dots just to give it a little different texture all right here we go this is our 2020 happy new year celebration drawing I hope you guys enjoyed it and really a big shout out to you guys thank you so much for following me for the past three months and we are so excited to move on to the next year and I hope you guys can keep following me for the next year again happy new year everyone I will see you guys next time